So we have our own, and that's what we do. So we can grow. One of the, the the guys that came first um, was somebody that that we knew. I knew as a seminarian. Uh, he was a seminarian in Toronto, and uh, I had gone to some meetings in Toronto uh, for different things. And uh, I would stay at the seminary. Got to know him. Very fine fellow. He was uh, studying for the priesthood for the diocese of Hamilton. And I got a call from him. This was right around the uh, the time when this whole thing happened. Got a call from him to tell me, he said, his last year in the seminary, he was coming up for ordination. And he told me over the phone that he had decided to postpone his ordination. I said, oh, I felt bad. I said, oh, no, really? And do you think so? Well, he said, that's, that's what I think the Lord is saying. Spoke to my spiritual director, and he seems to think it's right, so I'm not... I'm just waiting for what the Lord will do. But he said, there was one thing that I've been praying that I felt the Lord was telling me to do, and that's to come and see you. I said, oh, okay, well, that's great. Why don't you come? Why don't you come and visit? Why don't you come and stay for us? Stay a couple of weeks, why not? And uh, it came up the following Friday for our meeting, and he saw what we were doing, and he understood, asked questions after to understand what the whole thing was all about. And he said after the meeting, he said, well, this, this is why I'm postponing. Mm. I'm supposed to be here, he said. I'm supposed to join this community. I'll That's say, oh. happened to dozens of young men, too. Eh? That's, uh... That's right. So he did join the community. He's ordained now. Our community has expanded to three other uh, foundations, or three dioceses, as we say, call them, you know, local churches. To Toronto, we go to Toronto, we take care of St. Timothy's Church there, and we are also chaplains to York University, which is a huge university. Sure. Yeah. 40,000 people or so, they tell us. Uh, and we've also, we're also in Halifax. We're taking care of three parishes in Halifax and Dalhousie University chaplaincy as well. So we're in both those places. And we're also in Houston, Texas. Uh, we're in charge of a large, large Catholic renewal center uh, whose chapel accommodates 3,000 people, we're told. So those are the, the sort of the out, uh, outcroppings of our, our ministry, our reach out and so on. But in the city here, in Ottawa, that is, uh, we are doing uh, three parishes. We have three parishes here, St. Mary's, where we started, Holy Rosary, close by, and St. Morris's, out a little bit into the uh, suburbs. So we do those three. In addition to that, we have a teaching uh, teaching uh, ministry. We have uh, uh, ministry for, for youth that sort of uh, coordinates all kinds of things there. And so there are different things. I just forget exactly. It's incredible. Doing. It's incredible the way the companions have, uh, you know, been blessed by the Lord and, and how you're uh, extending that permission that you gave at St. Mary's Church uh, uh, back in the 80s has uh, flourished into a, an order of priests that is spreading itself really across Canada and moving into the United States. And yeah. and your TV show, a Food for Life, is oh, that's right. uh, yeah. is also getting about that. Uh, you know thousands and thousands of responses. Uh, so what I'm what I'm witnessing here, what what uh, the church is witnessing here, is the birth of of an order, and it's uh, it's just remarkable uh, to see. And the quality of the men that uh, that are attracted to the Companions of the Cross yeah, is is uh, remarkable. Also, the faith of these young men and uh, and desiring to uh, see a renewal in the church it's uh, it's a fantastic thing to witness, Father Bob Bedard, um What do you see for the future? Do you have any idea of what uh, the Lord might be calling uh, the companions to in the future? Well, we've said uh, quite specifically that we're open to doing anything, uh, provided that we can evangelize, provided that we can have an opportunity to bring the word out. The, the Holy Father, previous Holy Father, John Paul II, said, the beginning of the Christian journey is an encounter with the risen Christ. That's produced by evangelization. Uh, and the, he talked about the new evangelization, the new springtime for the church, and so on. Like, we're right in tune with all that. Uh, so we, we intend to support that wherever we go. 
We'll go to different places. We'll do anything. We'll we'll run a school if we have to. We'll. Uh, well, you are uh, uh, beginning a, a university. F- uh, you're teaching your own yeah, uh, right. seminarians now, right? Yeah, uh, we have men qualified to teach at the postgraduate level, and we uh, we uh, we we teach uh, uh, in connection with the Dominican College in Ottawa. We have priests that are teaching there. And we have a lot of people that are going there, not only our students, but also a lot of uh, other students, men and women, who are connected with the community who are going there, too. So we have quite a few uh, studying theology and uh, ecclesiology and all that kind of thing within the church, you know. A lot of people very, very interested in the ministry of the church. Not all of these are interested in, the, in or feel called to the consecrated life, that is the uh, priesthood or the women to the sisterhood. But uh, quite a few are. But a lot more are want to live as, as lay people uh, consecrated to the ministry. And uh, a lot of people are taking courses there and so on. So that's what's going on there, and uh, we're we're willing to expand anyway. Like the Lord is a Lord of surprises. Yeah, I'm, you know, you just never know. I said, look, don't uh, don't close the door on anything. It's not that's, as if you sit down good. with the the uh, okay. This is what we're gonna do in the next twenty years. Well, forget <laughs> it, forget it. Yeah. If you want to make the Lord laugh, just tell him your plans. Eh? That's right. Yeah, Lord, I have the most wonderful plan. You said, tear it up. <laughs> I have other plans. Yeah, oh, no, that the Lord is the surpr- surpriser. He'll, he's very, very dependable. He's very predictable, but he's very surprising, and he's terribly exciting as well. It's an excitement to follow the Lord, to pick up the Lord's Word and to carry it forward. It's a real adventure. It's the whole sense of adventure is one of the things we try to communicate to people, that this is an exciting call from the Lord in our day, is to take His Word into a world that's getting weirder every day Mm. and to bring the word of life into people's lives who are not experiencing a lot of life themselves and it's it's quite remarkable quite remarkable how the lord pastors his own his own word you know uh, as more even than we do father bob adard thank you so much for joining us here on bridging the gap today we hope to see you again very soon Thank you, David. It's wonderful to be here. And keep doing a good job here that you're doing. In section 1426 to 1430 of the Catechism, we are invited to have a second conversion, to have a personal encounter with Christ. It is a part of our Catholic faith. My prayer is that for those of you who may not have had that experience, that you will invite Christ to be the Lord of your life. If you'd like to get in contact with Bridging the Gap or order a copy of the show on CD, you can find us online at catholicbridge.com. That's www.catholicbridge.com. We'd love to hear from you. Until then, may God richly bless you and your family. I remember standing on that Broadway stage and thinking, and I had it made. But David McDonald fell into addiction and lost his voice completely. For three years, I communicated by writing on a notepad. I never thought I'd ever sing again. The Lord had other plans. I remember that emptiness inside of me. and I didn't know Jesus back then. But on a Christian retreat, the Lord touched David's life. I picked up a guitar and I just started strumming on it and singing at the top of my lungs. And that night with 20 people meant more than my opening in New York. Cause it was about him in the holy of holies we fall down before thee there is no end life is the only choice available at salem storehouse david's full testimony is online at www.davidmacd.com that's www.davidmacd.com I wanna join the cult, 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 cult. 